Hi guys, welcome back to Strongest TV. Today we are going to learn how to draw a cross. So just like every punches or every strike, in general, or even for kicks, it's the same thing. I want to make the kids understand that um, a punch comes from, the power comes from your body and doesn't come from your arm. So it's very important to, for them to understand how to pivot their body. For example, um, when I'm throwing the cross, it's very important to make them understand that they need their body to do that just so they don't do. They don't only throw their hands because that's the natural way we 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 we, we would throw a, a punch is just to swing our arm but really uh, we need to understand for that for everything and for all the sports in general it's very important that the power comes from the body just like in tennis i use my entire body in baseball i use my entire body for for every sport it's very important to um to have that understanding um so when i what i do with the kids is that I make them understand that okay you need to have a good a good stability so of course your feet just like we talked about before needs to be very um in a very stable position okay depending on boxing or kickboxing is going to be different kickboxing is a little higher boxing we can allow ourselves to be a little lower and be more planted to have a better movement but um uh, in both cases it's very important that our feet are very um uh, solid on the on the on the on the ground. Uh, from there, I can tell them to pivot every time they throw. I want them to pivot their feet, the, the back feet especially, because that's the way I'm going to pivot my body. Okay. Remember, I told you guys it comes from the body. So by pivoting my back leg, I'm gonna be able to pivot my my body. Okay. So that's the number one. Number two, I want to make them understand that. Um, you have to use your reach all the way, okay? So, of course, there are different type of crosses, but I want to make them understand that you to get used to reach, to, to use their reach all the way, okay? The other hand up, of course, okay? And then your shoulders, I want their shoulders to turn all the way, okay? I don't want, I don't want them to do something like that, okay? That's the arm, again, okay? Remember, I want you guys to use your body, and that's by pivoting your feet, pivoting your hips, and pivoting your shoulders now we're using our body completely okay so it's very important that i want to make them even if i'm over exaggerating sometimes i'm telling them to uh, put that shoulder all the way in the back even though in reality we're not gonna always punch like this i want them to practice that way so they're used to turn their body correctly okay so when they throw the punch i want the other shoulders to go all the way in the back Okay, and of course, all the time that hand up. I always want the other hand up when I'm throwing any type of punches, whether it's the jab, the cross, the uppercut. I want the other hand to be up all the time for now. Okay, so that's that. And then, of course, when I throw the the cross, I want your elbow to be inside. So I want when I'm throwing, I want. I don't want. That's the way we would naturally would naturally throw. It's to throw like this. Many people throw like that, and even at the higher level, when we um, when we uh, when we trying to generate power, we kind of forget about these things, or our natural reflex reflex come out, and we we kind of throw like this. So, but when we practice, I want them to have their shoulder, their elbow inside. Okay, so not like that. Sometimes I even I remember in class I used to make people practice next to a wall. Okay, so just so the elbow doesn't come out. So we can do this type of stuff too with the kids too. Okay, so don't forget the feet has to pivot completely. So here my back feet will pivot. Okay, I'll put my knee inside. Okay, my hips will pivot with it at the same time. And my shoulder, my shoulder, this one will go forward of course. And this one will go all the way in the back with my other hand up just so I make sure they use their body correctly. All right. All right, so now we are just going to do different type of drills and uh, just like always we'll finish with the game at the end and uh, that's it let's get into it
usual, guys, we like to finish with the game. The game can be as simple as what we did in the jab video. So for example, I'm gonna ask them to touch their partner's stomach or their shoulders. And the only thing I'm gonna ask to respect is that to keep your other hand up. So just so they keep a certain technique into it. So for example, as soon as you drop your hand, you lose or your partner get a point, something like that, you know? And then they go back and forth or they go live as they want. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood everything. If you didn't or you want to ask certain questions, make sure you do in the comments. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys.